Hey everyone, I just want to make a video about uh, duality and uh, what it represents. Um, duality is basically the idea that there is one direction towards God and one direction to the uh, polar opposite of God, the counterbalance to God. In Christianity it might be um, the uh, the uh, virtuous nature one can accept and uh, practice in order to reach uh, God um, as one travels upwards to heaven, uh, as one increases their frequency in a more um, complicated viewpoint. But, um, and the direction towards Satan is embraced through consistent sin and uh, rejection of God, and that's downward. Um, but I'd like to say that in, uh, in Hinduism, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. Um, Hinduism can be uh, represented by a tree whose roots are stretching towards the ground and the sky, and whose branches stretch towards the sky and the ground that uh, one's nature and one's uh, reason for acting as one does is constantly rooted and uh, produces branches in uh, either a positive upward flow and a downward flow. Uh, the upward flow eventually uh, being connected to the source, uh, the supreme God, uh, the, the spirit beyond creation, that which is and has always existed. That which is uh, always perpetuating itself through different forms, but is the source of perpetuation. Um, duality in many religious people's minds is the difference between good and evil. Uh, the idea that good is that which someone embraces uh, in order to be raised up, and evil is that which somebody embraces in order to satisfy oneself in the moment and be dragged down. Um, good and evil, up and down, uh, they are very black and white terms. Uh, duality has to do with very black and white terms. Uh, Hindus believe that there's a truth beyond duality. Uh, that Maya, the illusion, uh, and delusion in Maya, is that which makes us perceive this duality. It makes us perceive a stark difference between good and evil. Um, whereas, really, it's the difference between a skillful existence, a skillful embracing of existence, and unskillful existence, unskillful embracing of existence. Um, and that's another Buddhist idea as well, is that you can either live skillfully or unskillfully. If you live skillfully, if you choose to live skillfully, uh, then you can't help but cast aside material desires and uh, the material influences uh, that compose your um, ego. Uh, if you if you choose to live skillfully, then you will basically eventually re reach enlightenment. If you choose to live unskillfully, then you will consistently embrace materialism. You consistently drag yourself down to the point that con your consciousness will decrease in magnitude uh, ever slowly but ever consistently until you have just the consciousness of, I don't know, a flea. Uh, and then it can even decrease from there. It's, it's kind of infinite in all directions. Uh, if you consistently, your soul consistently uh, decides to embrace material creation, uh, material desire, then it can go forever down. Because this is the counterbalance of God. This is the counterbalance. Um, God is the uh, positive counterbalance of infinite expansion of one's soul. And uh, let's say somebody like Satan or uh, the idea of Maya or Mara in Buddhism co consistently and continuously, if embraced, confines the soul as it travels down. Confines it, separates it from the, the the united soul that it naturally wants to go back to, whether you think it's God or uh, or just Brahman or um, the Holy Spirit. Uh, in Christianity, the Holy Spirit is a definite difference from God, but in in Hinduism, a lot of Hindus believe that uh, Brahman is God, is the uh, is the spirit beyond creation. Um, and in Buddhism, um, that that part which is united, which is in all of us, and which delusion 
divides us from is uh, complete and utter emptiness and uh, and uh, acceptance of that emptiness all in one nirvana uh, the experience of nothingness that's what nirvana is um, duality is black and white in many religions for many religious people but in, for spiritual people duality is a uh, stereotypical understanding of creation um, and that it's better to it's better to see that the roots and branches of everything that we are and all everything that humanity is and every understanding that is existent in humanity uh, are complex and go up and down. Uh, we don't we don't know the roots to all our ideas. We don't know the roots to all our motivations. We don't know all the branches of our actions, but we should try to understand and follow every one of them. And that's what I got to say about duality. Uh, Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any comment or anything you want me to answer, feel free to put it in the comment section. I will see it. But thank you everybody for watching.